Hi, I'm Rui Barroso. Welcome back to Tango Online. So today we'll be talking about the milonga. Uh, I want to continue addressing the rhythmical structure in tango, but in order to do that, I find it important and interesting to first go into the milonga and then back to tango music. So, the milonga. Now, in the milonga, uh, talking about the rhythmical structure, or in Argentinian, modelo de marcación rítmica, we, what we have is a two bit, two bits bar, okay? So it's a two notes, two notes in each bar of music. Now what we have is a strong beat and a weak beat. Now, usually in the milonga, what we, what we listen is something like param, pam, pam, param, pam, pam. Now, in fact, when I sing it like this, I'm actually starting on the second note of the bar. What I should say is actually pam, param, pam, pam, param, pam, aram, pam, aram, pam. This one is the first of the bar and it's the strong beat. Okay, so what we can do is, as always, divide these two notes in half. So I would have here, I would listen to four, like let's call this the counter beats. So we would have pam, 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 something like this. Now in the milonga, we usually don't listen to this. In the modelo de marcación, in the rhythmical division, we don't listen to this one. So what we listen is something like pam, Aram pam pam, aram pam pam, aram pam pam. Now we also listen to something else, which is this, and this one, another division here. This one will give us the syncopated feeling of the milonga, something like this: pam param pam pam, param pam pam. So for now we are not listening to this one, so let's take it out. And what we have is a very irregular division of this measure of time. Now, look at this. What we have is a big space here, so a big, a longer period of time, a really short one here, and a middle one. Let's put it like this, something in between. So what we have is, and also from, from this one into this one, we have the same amount of time. So it's like if we would have another one here. No, it's like the start of a new bar of music. So what would happen? What we feel is something like this. Pam, param, pam, pam, param, pam, pam. Now the syncopated rhythm give emphasizes this guy here, emphasizes the weak beat. That's why this kind of feels like a strong beat, a bit like in reggae. Let's put it like this, no? So it's like karan, kan, kan. It feels like it starts here, but in fact, this is the second part of the bar of music. Okay, now from sometimes we also listen to this guy, sometimes we also listen to him. So let's put this in the music and let's see where it, where it all fits. So for this, we will be using Milonga Sentimental from Francisco Canaro. Yes? Then we can play with all these possibilities, no? Yeah? So as you could see in this, in this song, we listen the rhythmical structure that is always there, so this is always there this one, and from time to time we listen to this one. Even when we listen to this one, the rhythmical division that supports the milonga is always this that we call the habanera, okay? Now, 
Another song, for example, would be, let's put, for example, Milonga del 900. anymore so what we what we also have the possibility for example to use only these and these for example like let's eventually Okay, so now these are milongas from Canaro and just as an example let's go into a milonga from D'Arienzo just to have another feeling but you will see that this rhythmical division is always present no matter what milonga or what air orchestra we are talking about. So Estampa de Varón What happens with D'Arienzo is that it's like a bit, everything is a bit closer together. The milonga is much faster, eh? Well, that's enough. Okay, so this is a milonga. Uh, practice this at home and next time we'll be talking about how to apply this into tango music. Okay, so see you next week. Enjoy your tango. Cheers. <laughs>